we're going to go through and review for a Calculus 1 final exam. And how I want to do that is work through the practice final or comprehensive study guide that I give my Calculus 1 class every semester and give you a behind the scenes look at how I create an exam as an instructor, what sort of topics I want to make sure I cover, what sort of skill set I'm looking for when I choose questions for the final exam. And so if you just follow along and work through these problems, it'll help give you a good sense of what areas you probably need to study further, what areas you're pretty good at already, and make sure that you have everything under control before you go take your final so that you can be successful. If you need a review in-depth lecture, I'll link my playlist of Calculus 1 video lectures, but let's just jump right in. So the first topic that I want to make sure my students have mastered is being able to find limits. And the first type of limits that we found were done without using L'Hopital's rule. So I'll probably specify in the directions, find the limit if it exists, and I might add something like, do not use L'Hopital's rule, because we did that later in the semester. Okay, so let's just start off with something nice. We have the limit as x approaches 5, x squared minus 25 over x squared minus 9x plus 20. So remember, when you're evaluating a limit and x is just approaching a finite number, you want to try to just directly substitute in or basically plug in that number for x. And if you get just a normal constant, you're good. You can just move on with your life. So let's see, 5 squared minus 25 over 5 squared minus 45 plus 20. Yeah, I'm going to get a 0 over 0, which we know is an indeterminate form. But we can't use L'Hopital's rule. So what else can we try? Well, one of the first things you learned was to factor, especially since this is a rational function and it looks pretty factorable in the numerator and denominator. So let's see, x squared minus 25, that's a difference of squares. So we have x minus 5 times x plus 5. And then 